Converted to the 16th ranked Kentucky Wildcats down in Nashville yesterday to take on the Vanderbilt Commodores for a second time this season. Of course, the Cats already beat them at Rupp Arena this game at Memorial. Vandy, a bubble team going into this one. We're trying to play to get to a tournament, and they're a team we have to beat to get into the tournament. A huge game for us, so another home game, opportunity for us to win against a really good team. Wade Baldwin knows that whenever the Cats would beef up that resume early on, Tyler Ulyss up to Marcus Lee. Lee had nine points in the game. Later, Jamal Murray, big day for the freshman. Right to the cup. A lot of contact. On the other side, Michael Fisher Davis was on his game. Uh. Later, it's Murray and Fisher Davis going at one another. And Murray wins the battle. Later, Murray again almost turns it over, gets it back though, and then does Murray things. Pull up, Jay, that's good. Kentucky up 26-22. Later, Murray again, he had 21 first half points. First Kentucky player to score at least 21 and a half under head coach John Calipari. Fisher Davis though, he's still cooking from long range. Commodore's down three at the break. Let's go second half, Fisher Davis again and again. And again, Fisher Davis. Dude went for 20. That ties his career high. Meanwhile, Murray, he kept doing his thing. He goes for 33. Eighth straight game with at least 20. These are the two best shooting teams in the, in the SEC. There's Fisher Davis again. And then later, it's Josh Roberson. Uh. And then one more time, Roberson. Shot clock winding down. Yeah, he had 16. Students storm the court. Kentucky loses in Nashville. Zero bench points for the Cats. That being said, the Commodores only had one point off the bench. Kentucky missed its final nine shots, went scoreless over the final 347, and loses 74 to 62. Number 11, Louisville at number 12, Miami. Senior day down in South Beach. I'm pretty sure every day is senior day at South Beach. First half, the U up two, Davon Reed. How's your corner pocket three? Real good. He had 17. The Hurricanes shot eight of 11 from downtown. Good for 72%. Later, the build down 10. Shinanu on a waku. No look pass to Damian Lee. He had six. Cards up two at the break. Let's go second half, Trey Lewis. Trey Lewis. He had 13. Louisville up by five. Later, Lewis. He's stripped this time. Anil Rodriguez. He gone. Tied for a game high 17. Kane's still down two. 45 seconds to go. Miami now up three. Rodriguez out to Reed. Getting buckets. The Hurricanes scored 12 consecutive points and rallied to win the home finale 73 to 65. All right. High school basketball regional tournaments begin Monday across the state. And for the most part, we know who will play who in the WIMT coverage area. Every bracket is set except for the boys 14th region draw and that'll happen later today at two o'clock at the board of education down at Knott county let's start with the girls out at the east x kentucky expo center and the 15th region only mounts the top 10 team in the top bracket is mcgoffin county the lady hornets will take on pikeville monday at 6 30 at the expo center mcgoffin won the only time the two played in the regular season in the bottom bracket a juicy matchup like big time tuesday night eight o'clock Number three, Shelby Valley. Number seven, Johnson Central Valley won both regular season meetings. That one should be fun. Now to the boys 15th. It starts Wednesday at 630. East Ridge Allen Central, Johnson Central and Belfry in the top half of the bracket. And then Thursday, South Floyd, number 10, McGoffin County. And then our number two team in the mountains, Lawrence County takes on Pikeville. That game's set for an 8 o'clock tip time. Girls 14th region is at Powell County this year. It starts Monday at 6 with number five, not Central and Leslie County. The winner of that game will play either Breathitt or Lee, the winner of that game. And then on Tuesday night, hashtag Creech Watch, there at the bottom of the bracket, Randy Napier's Perry Central Lady Commodores. They will take on Jenkins for the third time this year. Of course, Whitney Creech surpassed the 5,000 point mark at Perry just a few weeks ago, becoming the first player in the state to ever score over 5,000 points in a career. She went off for 64 and a loss that night, but Jenkins did beat Perry back in December. All right, now to the 13th region draws. 
Corbin Arena, where both the boys and girls 13th Region Tournaments will take place. Start with the girls, Corbin and number six. North Moore will get things started tomorrow at 6.30. North won the only regular season matchup by 13. And then in the night cat, number two, Harlan will take on Knox Central. Night two features the 52nd District runner-ups. The Lady Black Bears of Harlan County will take on the 49th District champs, Clay County. Clay hosted Harlan County in the first game of the season. I was there. It was bad. They lost by 22. Now to the boys. They get started Wednesday night. Knox Central North Laurel. They'll tip it off. The potential North South semifinal. Oh my goodness. That'd be good. The fourth ranked Cardinals will take on Bell County. And then Thursday night, a Mountain Top 10 matchup in that first game at 630 out at the arena. Number five, Harlan County. Number eight, Corbin. That'll be fun with the sixth ranked. Clay County Tigers capping things off with Barbara Bell. Finally, we go to the 12th region. More brackets. Three mountain teams on the girls' side. Number eight, Pulaski County will play Wayne County Monday at 6. And then on Tuesday at 6, Rock Castle will face off with Mercer. And then our number one team of the mountains, Southwestern. Yeah, the Lady Roy Warriors are on a roll. 16-game win streak. They will play Danville at 745, approximate tip time at Lincoln County High School. All those games at Lincoln County High School. The boys is at Pulaski County High School. Starts Wednesday with the top ranked Warriors of Southwestern. Take it on Lincoln County and then Mercer and Rock to follow at approximately 745. See all the brackets and info. Just go to the sports page on WYNT.com. We'll have Alice Lloyd highlights and Union highlights next half hour. That's a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning. Good morning to you. Last night, Florida was at LSU and the Gators lost to LSU. And of course, that would be Kentucky's next opponent. But before that, they had to take on Vanderbilt, a team who beat Florida at Florida before they hosted Kentucky. Let's do this. The 16th ranked Kentucky Wildcats on the road. Vandy, a bubble team going into this one. We're trying to play to get to a tournament and they're a team we have to beat to get into the tournament. A huge game for us. So another home game opportunity for us to win against a really good team. All right, going for a third straight win. Wade Baldwin knows the win over the Cats would beef up that resume. Not looking good early. Tyler Ulis up to Marcus Lee. He had nine points. But the big day was from Jamal Murray, the freshman. On the other side, it was Michael Fisher Davis. Now, you're going to get the theme here. We got Fisher Davis and Murray going at it. A little later, Murray and Fisher going at it. Murray wins the battle there. Then later, Murray he almost turns the ball over here, gets it back, and then does Murray things. Dribbles in, stop and pop. That's good. Kentucky up 26-22. Later, Murray again coming off the screen. He had 21 first half points. That's the first player under head coach John Calipari in Kentucky with at least 21 and a half. Meanwhile, Fisher Davis still cooking. Commodore's down three at the break. Let's go second half. Fisher Davis. Next possession, Fisher Davis. Just like that, Vanderbilt's up by, well, four points. Murray not backing down, though. Give me some. He had 33 points. Eight straight game with at least 20 points. Meanwhile, Fisher Davis kept doing his thing. Remember, these are the two hottest teams shooting-wise in the SEC. Now it's Josh Roberson. Give me some of that. And one. 90 seconds to play. Shot clock winding down. How about some more Roberson? Oh, my goodness. He had 16. Students stormed the court. They deserve it. Kentucky loses in Nashville. Zero bench points for the Cats. That being said, the Commodores only had one point off the bench. Kentucky missed the final nine shots with scoreless over the last three minutes and 47 seconds of the game. 74-62. The Alice Lloyd men hosting a semifinal game in the KIAC tournament last night. They needed a win last night, and they needed to win the conference championship game. That game will be played on Tuesday. All that to secure a bid to the NAIA Division II National Tournament. But before we get to all that stuff, again, they had to win last night. Let's go. The Alice Lloyd Eagles welcoming in Point Park out of Pittsburgh in the KIAC tournament semifinals. Pioneers, they get things started in a hurry. Jeremy Williams. I said Jeremy Williams. Going to work. They started on a 7-0 run. Timeout, Alice Oy, They need one. Eagles, though, they get things going in the form of Shane Hall. Go get it. Oh, the putback dunk. 
And then Hall again off the baseline feed from Ryan House. ALC within three, but then Point Park, it gets it going again. Kelvin Goodwin, goodbye. Right to the rack off the steal. Lead up to eight. Alisoy, though, starts getting hot from the outside. Senior Cody Stumbo, left wing. Dakota Hall. Off the pass from Braxton Blair on uh, top of the key. Now, this is a great sequence here. Conference player of the year, Tyler Rogers, the block at one end. Run, run. You know he's going to get rewarded at the other end. Austin Crisp would, would go on to make one of two free throw attempts with 4.9 seconds left to advance to the conference championship game. 89-88. The Eagles will host Cincinnati Christian on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock in the final. All right, Union men going for their third straight AAC championship. Gerard Newby, that's a three ball. Dogs down one. They grab the lead here, though, thanks to, to Brian Jones. Free throw line, Jay, that's good. Bluefield up one now. Nick Riley, you can't, uh, no, you, yeah, that's too much space. Can't give him that. Now, Newby, he's the defensive player of the year, but he's got some ball skills. Great pass inside to LeVon Harper there. At the top layup, Bulldogs back up within two just before halftime. Rams and Dogs tied at 31. Seconds winding down. Riley creating and making. Union by two at the break. Let's go second half. Union with the lead. Newby, again, he, he's got game. All right, that's so good. They're going to give it to him one more time. From this same exact spot with nobody on him. I'm not sure why you'd ever do that. The Bulldogs are celebrating in Kingsport. Not one, not two, but three straight Appalachian Athletic Conference champ Tournament Championships. They win 71 to 57. LeVon Harper named Tournament MVP. All right, 14th ranks. West Virginia on the road in Stillwater. Take on Big 12 Conference for Oklahoma State. First half. OK State down one, not anymore. Tyree Griffin dialing it up. He knows how to ball. Three passes. Three points here, because you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Joe Burton. Oklahoma State up eight on number 14, WVU. Seconds winding down here in the first half. West Virginia up one, Dexter Miles Jr., no. Jonathan Hilton, no. The ball gets out there. Javon Carter just like, all right, give me this. I'll take this. At the buzzer. Mountaineers up four at halftime recess. Let's go second half. Jay Sean Page, the former Perry Central Commodore. Yeah, his step back game real strong. Over two defenders. 17 for Page. West Virginia up nine. Later, they're now up 12. Carter drops it back to a trailing Nathan Adrian. He went to Morgantown High School. About 40 minutes away from where I grew up. Bob Huggins, he gets his number 787th win. Puts him in sole position of 10th place in all-time wins. That's a final look at sports this morning. Yes, we will have the 14th region boys draw again, two o'clock down at the Board of Education at Knott County. Enjoy your morning.